everyone, it's Michelle Barada from Bella Branch TV and I hope everybody's been having an awesome week so far. I have a really fun DIY today. We are gonna cover switch plates. The switch plates in your home. This is perfect for people who can't paint the walls in their houses and they wanna just kinda do a little update in their home and it's very inexpensive, super easy and it looks like you just went shopping at like Anthropology or something. So, are you guys ready to get started? Well, let's go. When you start looking around your house, you're gonna notice all these white switch plates and you're gonna realize, oh my gosh, they are so not attractive. I didn't wanna say the word ugly, but not attractive. So look what happens when you update it. Look how awesome that looks and look how adorable it looks. And it looks like you have some very stylish, hip switch plates. What you'll need for this project are scrap papers, or what I did was I went online and I found some papers that I wanted to download. You'll also need a pen, a paintbrush, a craft knife, scissors, a hole punch, and Mod Podge. And of course the switch plates. And you don't have to buy the switch plates because you're going to take them off the wall. Next you're going to lay your switch plate down on top of your paper. And the paper, the, the sizes that you see of each switch plate is 5x5 five five for a double one and 5x3.25 five five for a single one. And you're going to want to cut about a quarter inch around or past the actual size of the switch plate. And then you're going to take your hole punch and punch out the holes for where the screws go. Then take your craft knife and cut out the openings. After you cut out the openings, you're going to take some Mod Podge and you're going to cover the switch plate. And you want a nice even coat on there and be sure to get the edges as well. Then you take your template or your actually your scrapbook paper and you're gonna put that right on top and be sure to smooth it down with your fingers gently. And then be sure in the inside cut areas, you're gonna kind of smooth that inside. Then take your scissors and as you see, I cut a diagonal right at each corner. And that's gonna make it easier to fold around my piece. And after you've glued that down, you're gonna just snip off that edge right there and it's gonna make a clean edge. And then any excess paper that you see, you're just going to trim that off. And then if you feel like you need to add some more Mod Podge, you're just going to add that right on there and then fold your paper down. After you finish that, you're going to put another coat of Mod Podge across the entire piece. And then you let the Mod Podge dry and you are all set. Mine took about an hour and a half to dry. Look how cute these turned out. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think it turned out great. I mean, I went pretty wild with mine and I kind of did almost every single switch plate in my house, but it looks so cool. I mean, when I said it looks like you went to Anthropology, I've had some people come in the house and asking if I got my switch plates at Anthro. So um, I think it's I think it was a great project. So I want to know what you guys think, and I want to know if you did this at your house. So be sure to comment. I get back to every single comment. I really do. Those of you who are subscribers and fans of my channel know that I uh, reply to everybody because I wouldn't be here if, I, if you guys weren't there watching me. Be sure to do that and also click the subscribe button that you're gonna see above me. So if you're new to my channel, then you'll know when my next DIY comes out. And also you'll see another video popping up right next to me. You may wanna check that out. That's gonna be another DIY that I think you will like. And until next time, I, go, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.